Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades and let's dive right into the analysis here uh, on the S&P 500, the SPY, the markets took another beating today, uh, down 66 basis points, Dow Jones down 81 basis points and the triple Q's down an entire percentage points, uh, you know, obviously dragged down by nvidia if you guys were watching the markets today nvidia got hammered down 3.77 percent finally a red candle today on nvidia so now it looks like we're finishing up this wave four and then possibly another wave five one two and then continuing to push up here uh, but overall you know the count remains quite bullish for nvidia uh, this is a little bit messed up but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit now i want to talk about uh, you know lots of uh, talk here uh, I saw some comments uh, yesterday on my channel some people are saying uh, that they are going to keep rates higher for longer and again that may be the headline news and the fundamentals but I'm just following the charts and the charts tell me that we finished up a, a wave two here the, the corrective move in wave two should be finished after after today's pullback now we should start and begin the impulse down in a wave three for the yields to start collapsing around now tomorrow is the PC index uh, or sorry the PC data that's going to be coming out it's, it's estimated to be I believe uh, increasing is it increasing no, no tomorrow's Europe and then uh, we also oh, sorry the PC and Europe look I'm looking at the wrong one here there we go so the PC is set to be in line uh, you know no change 0.3% uh, overall month over month so we'll see how that is but if it's good markets are going to tr rally tremendously and you can see the IWM today was actually up 95 basis points after this uh, you know, this big drop that we got here could we get another leg down yeah it's possible uh, but we, now we are entering into some pullback territories uh, for uh, for the triple Q's and the spy and it could be another dip buy opportunity before we continue to push higher uh, in, a, in, a, in this third wave here for the triple Q's, the SPY, uh, same thing, another pullback inside the wave four. And I think we should continue to push higher here. Uh, and that's in my opinion, what most likely what we're going to do when we take a look at the daily time frame on the SPY, you can see that we are getting some bearish dual bin strength index numbers. And we actually have reduction in green money flow, which is not that good, right? You don't want to see that. You want to see increasing green money flow. The four hour, you still have green money flow, even with this pullback here. And I think the one hour you finally crossed into the red. Uh, but I think that people are getting a little bit emotional in this market, right? The VIX is spiking. People are panicking. Uh, yields are going back up, right? You saw the 20 year spike up you saw the two year spike up but today it started to pull back right so this is what wave twos can do they can pull back pretty deeply and right now the tlt uh, came back into it went past our buy area and then it you know kind of finished up right around this pivot here uh, around 88 dollars and 70 cents which is the previous lows and i think this is a historical low as well so that end up, ended up bouncing quite nicely. So if we can start to push out of here inside of wave three, this would be very bullish for the markets. And this would help equities continue to go higher. And unless, you know, we get bad PC data, then the yields are going to go back up. And, you know, if we take out this pivot, like I said, this is going to be a very big problem, a very big problem for the market. And things are the, the bullish forecast and the, everything that the market forecast is going to change on a dime and we're going to get very bearish very quickly um, but let's take a look at some individual names taking a look at tesla you know tesla actually had an update today up 1.48 percent uh it looks like it's forming a bottom uh we do have a position in this in this name inside the discord so if you guys want to get access to those, my trades you can you know sign up with the link in the description uh, when you take a look here at uh let me just head over oops i think i, I, should, I over way overshot that when we take a look at apple apple's pulling back inside this wave two here i like to see another leg down in c leg uh, but again it doesn't mean it has to it could already truncate if it's super bullish this market's so, so bullish it wants to continue to push higher uh, then it's just going to push higher and you know go go straight up uh, but we got some big tech names tech names today getting a nice pullback microsoft down 3.3 percent uh, google down 2.15 percent Amazon down 1.48 and then Meta down 1.54. So you're seeing some of the larger caps getting hit pretty hard today. 
and Nvidia as well, obviously. Nvidia finally pulling back in this way four. I think you, you're just finishing up this impulse now. Uh, and once once this is done, uh, maybe the forecast can change for even higher targets because if this is just a wave one, which I think it is, then we could uh, we could have a a much bigger rally on our hands. But a, a wave two pullback could maybe come bring us all the way back down to 977, right? Fill some gaps here uh, and then continue to push higher after that, right? So we'll see. We'll see. How, we'll see how everything plays out. Uh, let's take a look here at Roku. Roku is actually up. 1.49% today. Again, Roku, uh, the count could become very bearish, but again, we're still clinging on for some for some bullish upside here. It may, it may take more time. Let it cook, right? Uh, let's take a look at Mara, right? Mara it actually was up today, I believe. Oh, no, it was down. Down. Okay, well, it, I think it was up at one point, but uh, it was down 99 basis points. Bitcoin's just really chopping sideways here. No real... You know significant significant uh you know confirmation that the low is in we did see some smart money buying uh, right around the lows but it doesn't mean that the market can't dip down to the sixty five thousand dollar level here and then bounce up from there so we'll keep a close eye on it um let me cover a few more things so again a uh, bunch of red crosses here on the spy now you're starting to see some selling uh same thing for the triple q's and the dow jones as well right and the dow jones is actually all the way back down here so let's take a look at the dow jones and our count uh, because now we're pulling back in this deep wave two which i really like to see gives us a very good buying opportunity for the people who weren't in in this long already uh you know if i would i would get back in and if, if you've if you've exited then you know exit at the top but if you were looking to get back in or you were not in already then this is a, a great risk reward area right you set your stop at 375 and you enter at 381 uh, you could use leverage ETFs to compound the you know the gains, but remember it could also comp compound the losses. But again, the markets need to drop significantly for me to actually exit my position. I have a hard stop, and you know I'll let the market stop me out if it wants to go lower. And our short position on oil is already playing out quite nicely. I think oil is finishing up this wave two here and is getting ready to push down inside of a wave three. I think there's lots of turmoil turmoil coming for oil. And unfortunately natural gas as well but over time they will go back up but it's just not it's just not yet uh, let's take a look at uh, let me cover a few more names here we have a big list of, uh, of things people want me to cover let me see my uh, my phone here okay PayPal let's take a look at PayPal someone asked for PayPal let's cover PayPal all right so PayPal uh, pulling back here Ooh, oh 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 boy, now this is this changes the count once again. Either we're still this was a your first A wave overshooting B wave and now you're coming back in the C leg, which means you could have further to go here uh, or it could finish at any moment because you had a pretty big overshooting B wave. Uh, and you could actually only make you could make three waves out of this. Now you need five waves down and with divergence and once this is finished then you could then you can you know start a new count but overall this buy area was respected pretty nicely and we got a reversal out of it you could still map it out as an a wave could just need more work right could just need more work you know you know that you took the pivot low out you can't make this a wave two right now you need to make this whole thing here a wave two right uh, and if you were to look for a buy area then let's see here what we can get out of it so you entered the buy area. You already entered the buy area and it reversed out already. So there's that. We're a little bit late on this one. Again, I don't have any positions in PayPal. So essentially this was your buy area. You entered it in the C leg and now you're all, you're you're already reversing out. So looking bullish. If it can hold and push higher, then it's very bullish for PayPal and now you're going to start to impulse out. You're going to get out of this rut here and PayPal is going to get back up to 70s 80s and 90s once again all right let me cover some other names i'll take a look at uh, i think that was uh there was one today that collapsed yes crm wow what a drop on earnings holy cow this one was probably the reason why the dow jones was down so much i think this is a new component inside the dow jones and when you have a component inside, a component inside of the dow jones that drops 
twenty percent, it tends to impact that 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 uh, that index pretty pretty dramatically. All right, so let's cover the Hang Seng. Let's take a look at the Hang Seng. I haven't covered the Hang Seng in a bit. Oh, sorry, the HSI. We our trade is on the yin right now, but uh, we'll cover. We'll be covering the HSI. So yeah, should just be finishing up this uh, this pullback here. Either this is a wave two, or this is just another wave four to go higher. So we'll see how everything plays out. Some people are labeling it like this, right? Uh, one, two, three. Four and then a five right because technically you don't have divergence on the daily so you could label this as a four and not the larger two and then look for one more move high another high up another push higher and then once that's done then you can uh, then you could start to shave off some uh, profits on your positions that's what I'm gonna be looking for essentially I'm still in my long here even with this pullback in HSI I know there's a lot of fear uh, right now in the Hang Seng and people don't want a long because of that, it's actually up 1.1% right now, but that's not the that's not the what, what, what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is that this could be a nice dip buy. And I did let Discord members know that today could have been a great dip buy opportunity in the Hang Seng and Alibaba, right? Because right now we are long Baba as well. And Baba, I think, is, is essentially just pulling back either in a wave two or it's a it's another count here. But I think this would just be a wave two because I can't really make more out of this. Other than the fact that it's, uh, it could be just a wave two. All right, that wraps it up for me. I don't have really much, and you know, really anything else to add. I think today was just an emotional day. People are panic selling before the PCE data is even released, and uh, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Peace.